The ILS system uses a combination of two independent subsystems, one composed of antennas located on the ground and one on board the airplanes. On the ground, the localizer antenna, situated at the end of the runway, transmits a radio beam that indicates the runway center line. A second transmitter, the glide slope, is situated at the edge of the runway, and its beam indicates the correct vertical descent profile. In accordance with International Civil Aviation Organization standards, the angle of this approach slope is 3 degrees. The intersection of the approach slope with the runway center line given by these transmitters represents the ideal descent path. The receiving antennas on board the aircraft pick up and display this information on a screen in the cockpit. The landing airplane will follow a fixed trajectory with a slope angle of 3 degrees down to the runway surface. During the final phase of the flight, the air traffic controller guides the airplane towards the localizer beam. The pilot watches the ILS receiver screen where a vertical pointer indicates the runway center line. The pilot then levels off and slows down in order to configure the aircraft for the final descent. The descent starts when a horizontal pointer indicating the descent slope crosses the pointer indicating the runway center line in the center of the screen. The landing trajectory is then fixed with a continuous descent profile down to the runway. This sequence, recorded three kilometers from the runway, shows the precision of the ILS system. We can see all the airplanes safely separated and following exactly the same trajectory.